Hey there. So I have something just came in the mail and for once I actually got my goddess provisions early. I almost always get super late. So it just came today. It's the March box and I believe the theme is lucid dreaming. It's going to have a lot of like sleep theme stuff. Um, so yeah, that's how it comes. It's like super small. Uh, this box is pretty affordable. <sighs> Generally, I'm a little on the fence about this one, honestly, because I feel like it is a great value if there's at least one thing you're like honestly interested in and you would like go out and purchase yourself. I'd say it's about $33 and including shipping, and that's like pretty good. However, I have had experiences where I'm not that interested in any of the products, and so it's just kind of, you know, it's like a waste, even if it isn't, you know, that much. So what I do is I usually wait for the spoilers, and this one in particular, it's usually pretty generous with their spoilers. They usually give one really early, and then usually like two before it shipped out. I think I've gotten th like three spoilers on Instagram by this point. And even if you're still on the fence, typically um, they'll show you the whole box pretty early or you can just watch other people's videos and then you can decide if you want to order it. And in my experience, I don't really remember this like selling out too quickly. Uh, I think sometimes it does. <sighs> Like those individual items I know sometimes like do sell out on their website but you can usually order the box like you know past the new box like renewal date so if you're not quite sure I would probably just wait and see what's going to be in it and see if you really want it or not I decided I got last month it was like amethyst themed and this month there was one thing in particular that I really wanted it, the box was so small, I'm like wondering like the size of it. They had a yearly planner that was like really, really cool looking. And that actually was not able to get in time. I kept like debating whether I wanted it. It was a little pricey. By the time I finally like decided like I kind of did want it, it was actually sold out. I think at least the color I wanted. It was like a yearly planner of like, really cool illustrations and all like the... Uh, astrological information and stuff so that same company made a dream journal and that was their first spoiler and I was like yeah especially since I didn't get the planner I kind of want I'm kind of wondering how big it is though because this little box is tiny I didn't really think about that before so I'm kind of wondering if it's like a little mini <laughs> journal We'll see. Um, so yeah, I think I mentioned it before, but this is like the first time I'm getting mine this early. I'm usually like the last person to get it. Like all the other people on YouTube who like get the subscription, like have already opened there usually by the time I get mine. So this is kind of like a self care slash kind of like spiritual, like crystal-y kind of box. Um, like some people like it for that reason and some people don't um like it's kind of spiritual but not like too too far out there and some people think like it should be more that way <sighs> it's okay it's not my absolute favorite box again if there's something you would genuinely like it's usually good value because like usually the cost of the monthly box Wait, the one item you want usually like covers that price and then you get some other stuff. Okay, so everything's gonna be about dreams. I'm hoping like there's some lavender stuff in here because I love, love, love lavender. Okay, um, this appears to be like a little sachet or something. I guess we'll find out more when we open it. It says dream big. It's like in a little canvas bag. Open this up. So this box is cool, but I have had some boxes where just none of the items like really interested me all that much, and then it was just kind of like a waste of money. Okay, oh, I can smell a lavender. Ooh, cool. Lavender and mugwort, and the I'm trying to read the little tag. It's like folded over. Um, 
dream pillow organic herbs and linen so i guess you like put this under your pillow that's cool mm. it smells really really good and i do suffer from insomnia and i have to wake up really early in the morning for work so yeah it works for me um i do like the picture and everything i love like the kind of like organic material or just like natural i guess would be the better term for that I like the picture and everything. Yeah, it's cool. And best of all, it smells of lavender. Uh, this, I think, was the most recent spoiler. This is a little sleep mask, and it's kind of got like a little like crystal grid kind of design on it. I am a fan of sleep mask. This is just kind of like a basic one. I think I'm getting like a Fab Fun box with like a weighted sleep mask. I've never tried this before. I started using these in my 20s when I lived in Manhattan because I always had a window facing the street and there was always like a lot of light pouring through the window even if I had curtains and blinds closed and everything. I find it really helps me sleep if I can cancel out that light and just kind of having like something against my eyes I think helps keep me asleep. Um, I actually find I can like cancel out noise better than I can light for some reason like if there's any sort of light in the room, it like kind of keeps me awake. Sometimes even when I have this on, like I had like my little fairy lights on one night and I woke up in the middle of the night and it was like disturbing me that there's like light on. But, um. <laughs> okay, and this is our little crystal and it's shaped like a moon. That's so, so cute. I like it. There usually is a crystal in here. There. My experience is usually kind of on the small side. This is really pretty though. I love that it's shaped like a, a moon. I would call it a crescent moon, but it's not terribly thin. That's really cute. I like it. So far, so far we're doing well. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, this is teeny tiny. So, yeah, this was... There was a yearly planner from the same company with like a really similar design and I didn't have a chance to get that magic drop eye that's what's called and so I kind of wanted to get this like since I missed out on that one I know it's gonna be some sort of sleep spray that was another spoiler so you're gonna like take the stuff out um okay this is a tea and that's called lucid dreams it looks like we're getting like a fair amount Really, really pretty packaging. I like that a lot. Magic Hour. That's cool. I like the hands and the hourglass. Kind of looks kind of similar to the that design a little bit with like the hands. And here's our little spoiler card. I feel like it's like an item less than what we usually get. Maybe it's just my imagination. So there's the card. There's the picture. Okay, so it's like a woman going to sleep. Like, got a little moon pillow or something. We got like the constellations in the moon, really pretty. So, we got the Magic of Eye Dream Journal. There we go. Protect Practicing dream recall can help induce lucid dreaming. Keep this journal by your bed to record symbols, themes, and feelings of your dreams and to uncover powerful insights from the unconscious in the mythical realms. Okay. So this is a $20 value and you get 20% off from their site. So yeah, I think maybe next year I might get their yearly planner. I really like the design on here. The serpents and the, the eye. The re, re <laughs> I was, I don't know. Uh, Club Magic Hour Lucid Dreams Tea. Dreams allow us to process experiences and emotions from the day. Enjoy a nighttime tea ritual in this, with this organic Tulsi tea blend to wind down in preparation for some healing shut eye. Okay, uh, what's in here? Tulsi turmeric ginger cinnamon. Sounds really like spicy, but like sweet spices. Nutmeg, cardamom, black pepper. Yeah, that was really spicy. Cloves, coconut essence, and cinnamon essential oil. Okay, there's a lot of spices. With the black pepper, makes me think. It might have like. Wow, yeah, that's intense. It has kind of 
like a like a refreshing smell is not what I would like instantly imagine as a sleep inducing tea. I usually think of like chamomile and lavender, but I will have to try that out. Ooh, a lot of spices. They're all kind of like uh, Indian type spices. I would not have thought of that combination like as a sleep tea. So that's interesting. Let me open up this little journal so I can show it to you it's a little bit better. Okay, so I was reading the spoiler card and then I like got distracted. <laughs> I'm so happy I have a long weekend. I was so tired and overworked. I like might be able to put this some of the stuff to work. Okay. Um so yeah, there's the the cover. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. Oh, we have all the light moon phases there. So, so cool. The magic of eye. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Love that. It's got like a guide for um, using your dream journal. Okay, and then it's just light lined pages and the rest of it, I think. And it's got like a little band as a bookmark. It's kind of like a faux leather type material. Super pretty. Um, oh, and then the last thing that I didn't open yet is some bubble wrap. I think this is like a palette spray. Ooh, it feels like it's leaking uh, just a little bit. It's like the bubble wrap is like stuck onto it too. Yeah, it's like very wet. It seems like the top came off a little bit. Nocturne Anti-Stress and Sleep Magnesium Oil with Aloe Vera. Sounds cool. I think like this came open or something. I don't know. It's like the bubble wrap's like stuck to the top of it. Ooh, yeah, totally, totally came open. Oh, it's, it's like stuck to the cap, but it's like a spray bottle. Okay. All right. Yeah, like, like all over the place. It doesn't have like a terribly heavy smell to it. I know when I think sleep, I think lavender straight away. Huh. It's got a little bit of lavender in it, but I don't really smell it that much. I smell the lavender in this, like, really well. I think I had a sleep mask at one point, like, years ago. It had lavender inside of it. That was nice. Let me finish with my little spoiler card. I get distracted so easily. Okay, um, Access Our Dream Seed Eye Mask. Blackout distractions and doze off to dreamland with a super soft micro model mask. The screen printed design features gold ink infused with selenite crystal to aid in lucid dream states oh okay so yeah I think I read like it had a crystal I thought it was going to be like in the inside of it but it's actually in the ink that they used for the design so interesting Luna Nectar Nocturne Magnesium Spray this topical sleep support potion is made with magnesium olive vera, lavender and sweet orange essential oils spray onto your skin to relax your body and mind before climbing into bed and then we have the Gratis Provisions Dream Pillow Tactile Sachet made with organic linen and herbs of lavender and mugwort under your pillow to, to promote dream recall, vivid visions, prophetic sight, and even astral travel while you snooze. If it just helps me grow sleep, I'll be happy. <laughs> um, as far as the light helping me sleep, I think it's probably the IMS too, but like I already have... I have like multiple IMS, so, but I think this will be like the, the biggest like sleep inducing item of, out of all of these, honestly. It smells really, really good and I can really smell the lavender, which is the thing I always associate with sleep. Hammered Moon Quartz programs Crown Chakra Stone with your intention to become conscious while dreaming and place it on your nightstand or under your pillow as you drift off to sleep. 
So I guess I'll like put that on my nightstand. That's really pretty. I like the shape like the moon. Um, and then sleep hypnotherapy. Ooh, this is something you can access online. Access an exclusive by proxy energy work session in ASMR. I think this stuff is like so that. I don't know. I'm not really in, into it. It seems kind of silly. Style to support an empowered dreaming experience i mean if anything i would probably just listen to like the sound of the ocean or like rain or something like that to help me sleep i've never really gotten into that it sounds just kind of more relaxed me more than anything um let's see and there was like an advertisement for their um self-care oracle deck over here Okay, I do think this uh, company, they plant a tree with every box that you buy, which is super cool. I actually never noticed that, but someone else who opens their boxes, like, made that comment. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, So this is, like, honestly the main reason I ordered the boxes for the little dream journal. It's cool. I've always said, like... I want to try to do that. Ona has the date here. I mean, I guess it is kind of like cool to like record your dreams and maybe like kind of look back and see if like they've changed and stuff like that. Um, I've been under a lot of stress recently starting a new job. So a lot of times like I'll just kind of recall things that happened during the day in my sleep. Like it's probably just a byproduct of being overwhelmed and stressed. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm happy. I'm not, like, I feel like I, like, got my money's worth, but I'm not, like, oh, my God, like, I can't believe, like, there was all these, like, amazing things, and I don't, I felt that way about, like, the, the boxy charm box. I just got the beauty box, but I have to say less so with this, um, it's cool. I'm interested in to like try all the products and everything. I have to see what they're doing next month. I'm always like, I'm always a little on the fence with this box. I'm, if it's not like a good theme that you're into, I, I don't know. Me and myself personally, I, I would probably say like, just wait and see if it's something I really want. I need to cut down on my subscription boxes and right at the moment I just got into beauty boxes and they seem to be like a really, really good value. So I think I'm gonna like kind of gravitate gravitate more towards that area. Um so yeah. This box is fine. It, it, I'm happy with everything I got. I just I don't know if I plan to continue with them or not. So we'll see, I guess. It de totally depends on like what theme they're having next month. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and stay tuned. I should, I'm gonna have less like, like book boxes, stuff like that. Um, I think we're gonna do more like, maybe like clothing and like beauty type stuff. Um, at least for the next few months, and kind of just cut down. <laughs> so, um, do. Stay tuned and subscribe and everything like that. And hope you have a nice weekend. Au revoir.